Naval Piranha's Castle. When I first heard it, I thought it was Nasal Piranha's Castle, but you know what? Never mind. Ignore my stupidity. Let's enter the sewer of sewers. So, you're first introduced to this dude. You're gonna meet him quite soon, and you know he's gonna be pretty annoying because while he's pretty scary looking for an enemy in Mario games, but you can just simply do this shoot him with eggs. If your uh, you will not be keeping your eggs, so don't bother. You can't eat these guys. You better be careful of those. It's best in your, in my opinion, it's your best advantage to just avoid those guys. Blackbirds, you can't really eat them for eggs. You want to just let the water keep flowing down your head, I guess, because you want to come up here, and you do want to come here. You got some. You got a red coin there. Now, if I'm right, the red coins here are pretty hard to get, so um, you do want to be careful. You want to first come down this way. That gets you nowhere, but don't worry. Alright, so that's just a water puddle. And you get more red coins. So, and then we're gonna come up, go back up, and then we're gonna come this way. And after you come here, you pretty much can't go back, so it's kinda like a checkpoint unless you die. And you want to keep jumping and let the water take you to where you should go. Alright, so over here you'll be introduced to a new mechanic and I think I've shown this in the previous video but you can let the eggs skip on water. You're gonna shoot it to that. Hey wait, you know what now mate? Idiot. But you want to use that because you know you do, you can get red coins. So you want to let the water, the, the eggs skip and hop on the water. And we're going to show this guy, see what he calls his turn. Get the coin space underneath, there we go. I thought he had given it a terminology. Right, are we here? You want to be careful. Um, first off, you want to... Now then it's just dumb. Ah. You can do that and you do want to use it a second time because you want to get your flower. Alright. Over here, so basically you're gonna be doing this for the next few pipes. And just be careful. You know, I've recently I've watched a video and I learned that you can actually skip the boss, but because I don't wanna I want to show how the boss is completed in its correct fashion. Uh, I won't be skipping the boss, so uh, to all you cheaters out there, I'm sorry. I used the Marker Woohoo cheat, but I'm not going to use it here. Because, you know, not everyone will come up with this idea. I think it was just dumb. You know what, let's try this. Nah, I've got no idea how to get You know what? There we go, problem solved. I think you can use an egg to get that, but I'm not going to use an egg because it's very tedious and troublesome and it's just not worth my time. Let's go! And over here we're about to go to our next checkpoint, you want to be careful. Knew it! I knew that was that! And that's why it does! Bah! These guys are pretty annoying for what they're worth. The blackbirds. Uh, you will meet them again, the ravens, I like to call them. Get your egg, and a uh, flower. I hate these guys. They keep propelling me backwards. With all the water here, it is pretty irritating. Get out of my way. Thank you. I want to play with y'all no more. No! That was dumb. That was really dumb. Ah! Idiot. Now, as you can see, piranha plants make their heavier appearances, making this to be one of the more irritating 
the much, much, much more irritating courses than the rest. Get your X, and you are gonna need your X because based off experience, uh, you gotta beat that guy. Die. Problem solved. Hey, that was a scam. Where was our red coins? Gah. Um. All right, so you want to. Oh my gosh, this is irritating. I think this is where I want to go because if it is, and I'm not gonna come this way. I'm gonna just. I'm just gonna come this way first because I want to get the collectibles because there are some collectibles we do want to get here. Get rid of that, and then... Don't let that... That fishy eat you. I hate that thing, it reminds me of Piranha Plants. Piranha Plants are pretty evil in this game. Oh my gosh! No! And thus you know how I feel when, and you see how evil that thing is. If you, the thing is because it doesn't just hurt you, it eats you, and when it eats you, you lose your eggs and your baby. And we all know that's pretty terrible, and I don't think you can beat them. You think they're pretty indestructible on their own, right? And based off experience, I forgot that. But that thing existed. I may want to use a star power up to my defense and not because I want to get 330 stars. I don't want to run out of stars because, you know, I'm doomed when I run out of stars. You know, I lose a life and stuff. So, finally, more stars. Oh, finally. I uh, do not want to jinx myself and lose my stars, because I still have to battle this guy again, they regenerate, believe it or not. Even if you use the power block, it's not going to help you, you just spit it out, and you're going to need to use these eggs to get back at him. Pardon me for moving the 3DS. Yes, this game is playable on the 3DS if you have the Ambassador program, if not, then you know what, you're out of luck. For a minute, I thought I was pretty lost, but uh, I learned that this is the right way to go, and we were here just now. That thing is pretty annoying. You wanna keep a distance? Use your eggs. Um, yeah, idiot. We come this way. Alright, give me a moment here. And we're back. I just wanted to uh, adjust this camera. Well, this is actually a take two because I died at the boss because, you know, I got hit and I could not get 100% because I lost stars. Uh, so this is technically a take two, but it looks like it's just normal. Um,. I'm going to suggest that you may be able to skip the boss. I'm going to show you how to beat the boss upcoming. You, you, a few requirements you need is you must have eggs and you must know how to let the... Uh, you must know how to skip. As in, let, let the eggs hop like that. You, don't have, you can't do it consecutively, but the idea is something like that. After a while, he rests, and after he rests, you must do that. And then, we're going to... Um, I'm going to just up, up, give myself an upgrade here. First of all, I'm going to give myself full legs. And after I give myself full legs, I'm going to upgrade my, my stars or so. Um, I'm just going to go get my stars. And now we're good to go for the boss. 
You can get that for more stars, but it won't have been enough for me anyway. Hey, wait. Alright, yeah. I already got enough. Alright, thankfully. 30 stars, there we go. Alright, so what I suggest you do is to... Over here, when you see this block, when you see this block here, do that. And then you get to kill that guy immediately. As I showed you guys how we beat the boss, it was there already. It was in that, that other piranha plant. I decided to cheat this one, I didn't want to die again. There we go. That is how we beat that boss. Um, so you just hop your eggs if you decide to continue on with the boss. But I decided to skip, and well, that's it for Piranha Lake, Naval Piranha's Castle. We're gonna go to the hardest extra level. One of the two hardest levels in the game. One of the three, actually. And I'll see you guys then. Thus, Monkey World is saved. I just took that. I just ripped that, that off another YouTuber. Alright. Let's go to hardest level in the game. I'm probably gonna get a thousand deaths before I succeed. So let's go. <laughs>